What's up guys, uh, Warren Eagle Adler back at you with another review and today we're going to be looking at uh, something that I've been thoroughly enjoying and that's the uh, Toe Batty. Now, the thing I've been loving about this atomizer um, is the fact that, you know, you can just pull this top cap off, just drip your juice, and you put the top cap back on, and off you go. Becoming a really big fan of atomizers that have a top cap, that a removable top cap. Okay, so what is the Tobe? The Tobe is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. So basically, um, you build your own coils, for the newbies obviously, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that know exactly what I'm talking about, but for the newbies that don't know anything about RBAs or RDAs, RBA is a rebuildable atomizer. RDA is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. So basically, this comes in three parts. You've got the top cap, you've got the chamber, and you've got the uh, build deck. I picked this one up from Vapor Life Plantation. It cost me 135 bucks. Um, do I think it's worth it? I think it's worth it. I think that you know you get what you pay for. So if you're gonna you know get a clone and you're gonna get the clone quality. If you're gonna buy a you know genuine uh, rebuildable atomizer, you're gonna get quality. In saying that, it is expensive and I wouldn't be purchasing authentic atomizers all the time because I just can't afford it. Okay, in terms of the heat, heat sinks, I actually agree with that. I think that the heat sinks do help the device stay cooler. It still obviously gets hot, but it definitely stays cooler. So I've been really liking the look of this atomizer. I, I really like the uh, top fins, the heat sink fins, and the... Uh, I'll show you all this in the close-ups when we go close-up, but... Um, I like the heat sink fins. I like the... Look, the logo is a bit like... It looks like a Christmas tree to me, but I don't mind it. I, it's a very nice, deep engraving. Um, the airflow is really nice and bushy. Um, I, I usually have two air holes open on both sides. I find it a bit uh, airy for me, so I put like two uh, air holes open, I block one off, and I find that's beautiful. I find I get a nice uh, warm vape from it. Vapor production's great. I've got a 26 gauge, dual 26 gauge. It's coming out to about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Um, and it's been fantastic. It's good flavor. I think the flavor is not as good as the Atomic um, and the Tugboat. The Tugboat, I've been loving the Tugboat. I think the flavor is not as good as it, as it is in the Tugboat. The Tugboat Airflow is fantastic. I'm going to do a review on that uh, soon. I've got a, um, like a wideboard drip tip. It's like a press fit drip tip. You just drip straight into the um, drip tip. Don't have to worry about taking the top cap off. I've been really liking this. It's been, uh, it's been my go-to vape for quite a while now. Uh, yeah, the other thing that I um, forgot to say, fins for the airflow. Um, I find that being in the middle of the atomizer, it's kind of blocking off the airflow a bit. I have to build my coils to the right of that, um, so you can really get the air holes, you know, to it. You can maximize the airflow. But yeah, that's the only thing really. I mean, I could say that I don't like about it um, is probably the heat, uh, the heat sink fins. I think that they're kind of uh, not in the right place, they should be on the right, and then you should move the, the chimney sort of to the left, um, and then you can get the airflow right in the middle of the coil, and the coil will be right in the center. Uh, let's go down low and uh, show you all the parts of the atomizer. Let's do it. All right, guys, so here we are down low with uh, the Tobe Buildable Atomizer. Um, as you can see, it's looking pretty badass on this uh, Hexone Force Edition. Um, really like this thing, I'm going to be doing a review on this also. Uh, it's actually got two usable 18650 batteries in here, two VTC4s. Anyway, it's not about that. It's about the Tobe. So this is the build I've got in here, just basically just basically a standard uh, dual coil. Um, just got basically organic cotton in there and it's uh, firing pretty nicely, if you have a look. 
This thing is pretty fucking pissed off right now. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, just take off out the bit. I'll just clean this out. Well, I won't clean it out because I'm not going to re-wick it because it's uh, vaping so well. But I'll just take this apart and we'll show you the uh, different parts of it. All right, be back in a sec. Uh, yeah, so the other thing, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a rubber glove here. Um, basically, to get this top cap off of this is not easy. Yeah, you, you, this is the, the top cap, the not the top cap, the chimney itself, this bit, I'm telling you, is like... On there like you have to get something that will grip well enough to really pull this off because once this is on um, this thing won't budge and it's you know I mean look you're not going to really move it once you get it set in the right place you just set it um, and uh, off you go but to get it off is like it's uh, it's a struggle that's also another gripe I would have to say that I have with this is you've got to like really um, it takes a bit of effort to really get this off Let's have a look at this. Uh, let me just take this glove off. Look like a surgeon. All right, so here are the three parts of the uh, Tobe atomizer. You've got the deck. Let's zoom in a bit so I can show you that. You've got the deck there, right? It's a nice three-post design. You've got the dual O-rings, Phillips head screwdrivers. Nice juice well, pretty deep. I would take the cotton out, but I'm just loving this build so much. Um, there's plenty of other Tobe uh, reviewers, or plenty of other reviews on the Tobe that you can have a look at if you want to see the size of the juice well. Uh, exactly, but um, that's it there. Top cap, that's the logo. Nice logo. Three air holes. I believe they're about, I would say they look about 1.5, uh, maybe 2 millimeters in uh, diameter. This is the uh, top cap. You've got the uh, heat sink fins here, you've got the single o-ring. Works really nice, pops on and off real easy. Um, you've got the uh, conical design top cap inside which is supposed to increase the flavor. Um, to be honest I think it works but uh, I, I do find that the atomic has better flavor than this in my opinion. Um, I think it's also, I, I think it's solely due to the size of the actual device itself. It is a smaller device, so um, the, the vapor is more compact in the chamber, so it is obviously producing a little bit more flavor. Okay, so you take the top cap, you get that lined up. In this instance, what I do is I go like this, and I go, okay, let's have a look. We wanna have this here like that. If you have a look in there, the like that, and uh, then I just push that in, goes in like that, and then you take the top cap and you clip that in, and there we have it, the toe atomizer. Let's get back out to normal view and vape this bad boy. Oh yeah, guys, sorry I forgot. Um, I've got the toe clone here, which I'm just going to show you quickly on camera. Um, I'm not going to go up close. It's really not worth it to be honest. Um, it's basically the same thing. It's just uh, the only difference that I can see here. I mean, it's identical in my opinion. It looks pretty identical. Right. Um, and then you've got the uh, heat sinks. The only, thing I can, the only thing I can see here, the difference here is the, are, are the air holes. That's the only thing I can see. These air holes are smaller. Right, these air holes are definitely smaller. Um, and this is the top cap, same deal, conical top cap, um, heat sink fins, single o-ring, it's identical, it's a one-to-one -one clone. Um, performance is just as good in my opinion as the original. Whoops, wrong way, sorry. I do quite like this colour. I think this looks badass on my hexone, I'll just show you that quickly. That's it on the hexone. I think that looks pretty badass. Put a nice uh, drip tip on there and uh, it's looking pretty sick. Alright, so that's it guys. Um, that's the Toe Baddy. Thanks for watching. I think it's really good for just everyday vaping. Flavor's great. Uh, what more could you want? You know, something reliable. It's a very well made, good quality, um, nice design. And at this point I think I'm just repeating myself pretty much as uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just rambling. So, uh, yeah. Subscribe. 
down below in the description. Any comments if you would like. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again next time.